Hey everyone, this is DBK Welding Caps. This time I'm going to show you how to actually make the cap. Now you may recognize this fabric from the previous video uh, where we cut the cap out from the pattern that we purchased. So for today's video we're going to need obviously some thread, some bobbin thread, some pins. I use snips instead of scissors. You're going to need a sewing machine. I'm using a Brother Innovus a NQ. 3700D, that's my home uh, sewing machine. And I have a Brother 1034DX serger overlocker. They're both preloaded with white thread. So let's get started. First thing we need to do is we're going to do the crown, the cap. So we grab what we need is one center panel one side panel place both fabrics right sides together matching up the raw edges and we're going to pin them together okay I think that's all you need it's a very small piece and we're going to serge it down one side here we go <laughs> Quick note, I've been doing this long enough that when I place my pins in, I place them far above, far enough back from that sewn edge that they can go through my serger without hitting the cutter or the needles. Just a tip. And when we take the pins out and open it up, this is what we get. So we've now got the center panel with the wide section at the top and one of the side panels already attached. Now we're going to attach the second side panel on this side here. So grab the other one. Again, right sides facing. I'm not going to pin this one. Okay, and we're just going to serge on. There we go. When I open this up, we have half of one crown. Let's do the other half. Again, matching all of the raw edges of the fabric, as you can see, top and bottom along the edges. Okay, cut off any excess thread. There's the other half. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to top stitch down each side here because we don't want this moving around on people's heads. I find it very uncomfortable. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll it to, which way am I going to roll it? I'm going to roll it to the outside on both of them and then top stitch down. Now when you put it under the machine, you can actually feel with your finger that the seam is going in that direction. I move my sewing machine over uh, on my machine mm, about about that looks like quarter about one eighth of an inch so I am top stitch down there we go I'll do that on the other side Again, use your finger to make sure that the seam underneath is going on the outside or the inside if that's where you prefer it. Just use your finger, you can feel it. There we go. Top stitching on one side, done. And all that does is just stops that seam from moving. 
So when you put your hat on and off, it's not rolling from side to side. Let's do the other side. Now, before I sew, normally I would tell you to press, when you, when you first pull this off the serger, lay it down and press it flat. But I'm quite familiar, quite comfortable with managing my fabric and, and directing my fabric where I want it to go. If you're not that confident, just use a hot iron to press it down first before you sew it. So now we have two sides done. We're going to make one crown now we're going to join these together so what we do is right sides together matching raw edges from the bottom where are my pins from the bottom again matching the top raw edges the best we can Sometimes my cutting isn't always that good and it's a little uneven. And I'm also working up in the air. I normally walk, work flat on the cutting mat below me. That's not quite lined up, so let's line that up. There we go. Let's spread that nicely. There we go. Done. I might put another pin in there. The fabric will do that. It will shift on you quite a lot. Okay, so we've got right sides facing. All the raw edges are matched. And what we're going to do is we're going to serger along this edge here. And where we've got, if it's uneven here or if it's a little bumpy, what we're going to do is smooth that out when we serger. <laughs> Excess threads and this is what I mean by smoothing it out okay I have to excuse that noise that's my printer in the background okay take out the pins open it up and we have it just sometimes you've got to just check to make sure that there's no gaps right here in the center but that looks really good so you can either now press, take this back to the ironing board, lay it as flat as you can, lay the seam to one side, left or right, it doesn't really matter. Lay it flat and then top stitch. But I'm going to go straight to the machine and top stitch this. Again, just with a one quarter eighth, one eighth of an inch stitch. Just picking up. Pushing the seam over, using my fingers to make sure the seam is over where I want it. Go slow. Just do, you know, like one inch sections at a time, making sure that the seam is over where you want it. Especially when you get to the centre bit where there's a bulk of fabric where you've got six layers all coming together. Now I'd like to just push that over, make sure it's all lined up. I lift my foot just to go over that slight bump so it doesn't stick and it also doesn't bunch the fabric underneath it as well okay. I'm using my fingers done where's my snips okay there we go so now the center seam is stitched flat let's open it up and have a look and this is what you should have. Nice top stitched centre seam. There we go. That is the outer liner, outer layer of my super cute Care Bears cap. And my bears are going in all different directions. I just love that. Okay, let's repeat this again for the liner. So <laughs>
sometimes you'll have extra threads threads that sneak through that don't get chopped off with a serge so at this point just give it a little tug and then if it doesn't come out use your snips or your scissors just to remove the excess thread okay there we go that is the liner done so what we're going to do is grab our main cap turn it up, upside down or up on its top however you want to say that i'm not really sure how to say that turn the liner fabric inside out so the seams on both caps will be facing each other so it's wrong side fabrics facing and then place the liner inside the out, outside crown i now match the seams Let's match them up like that also match raw edges and pin it in place and i do that all the way around mainly where the two where the the seams come together just to hold it in place If you hear any noises outside, there's a bit of a storm, a windstorm happening. I apologise for any noises that may come through on the phone, on my video equipment. And the last one. Now, that one needs to be finessed just a little bit fabric will stretch and move on you ever so slight we're talking like as you can see and now it fits we're talking millimeters there we go it's all pinned in place what we're going to do is we're going to pop a stitch a stay stitch right in here you shouldn't see it but if anything at all and what that will do is it will stop the cap from separating when it goes into the washing machine okay so it also holds it still while you're wearing it it doesn't if you're sweating a lot or if your ponytail's pulling it to one side so just move it all about finesse it until you get the two seams where you can feel with your thumb that the two seams are not on top of each other but are next to each other Otherwise, you'll have a big lump pressing down the center of your of your your head. So you just want to butt it up to each other. So that's there we go. Got it. I then just you can place the pin in it or hold it with your finger and slide that underneath your machine. And just do a tacking stitch. That's it, that's all it needs. Okay, cut off the excess threads from both sides. Remove the pins. There we go that is one crown with a liner done